Good morning. Today, our lesson is writers develop topics to support a claim by one, repeat the claim, add the word because, then state a general fact in support of the claim. So my claim is school uniforms are ineffective. So now I need to refer back to the articles that I've read about school uniforms and determine what information about school uniforms proves they are ineffective, but I need to keep my fact general. School uniforms are ineffective because, hmm. When I went back and looked at some of my research, I found this piece of information. School uniforms are ineffective because at the Watson Chapel School District in Arkansas, students wear black armbands to protest a mandatory uniform policy adopted in 2006 for middle and high school students. Hmm. Well, they are protesting school uniforms. However, it doesn't, it's too specific. It's, it's more like textual evidence to prove the topic. So I'm gonna try again. School uniforms are ineffective because I need to keep my idea general, a general fact. School uniforms violate a student's freedom of expression. Oh, okay. Now, the previous piece of evidence that I used can support this. It violates a student's freedom of expression. The fact that the Watson Chapel School District in Arkansas, students wore black iron bands to protest a mandatory uniform policy adopted in 2006. That could potentially support school uniforms violate a student's freedom of expression. But this here is much more general. So now I need, I'm set. School uniforms violate a student's freedom of expression. That's my first topic sentence. Now I have to come up with a second one. School uniforms are ineffective because, hmm, as I go back and look at my information, oh, I found this. Brunsma and Rockmore concluded that uniforms did not significantly improve any of these criteria and noted a several point decrease in the standardized test scores of students required to wear uniforms. Hmm. Gosh, I do know that school uniforms. Um, there has been evidence to prove that maybe when students wear uniforms, they do better in school, but that's, this is way too specific. So I need to be thinking more general. Hmm. So maybe it has to do with, oh, the school environment. School uniforms are ineffective because implementation of school uniforms has not been proven to improve the school environment. Okay. So this, Brunsman Rockmore concluded that uniforms did not significantly improve any of these criteria. They noted a several point decrease in standardized test scores of students required to wear uniforms. That would support, that would support, this would prove that it does not improve the school environment. This is a general fact that, um, is a great topic sentence. Now, writers develop topic sentences to support the claim by repeating the claim, add the word because, and then state a general fact in support of the claim. Again, school uniforms are ineffective because private schools in particular require children to wear expensive uniforms that can only be purchased through the school or at specialty shops. Yes, I know cost of uniforms is a problem, but I think this is too specific. So I'm gonna go along with um, financially, it's a hardship, but to state that school uniforms are too expensive for low-income families is much more general. And then I will be able to find three facts to prove this. So now I have three topic sentences. School uniforms are ineffective because school uniforms violate a student's freedom of expression. School uniforms are ineffective because Implementation of school uniforms has not been proven to improve the school environment. School uniforms are ineffective because school uniforms are too expensive for low-income families. I have three topic sentences that are general and they support my claim. Now it's your turn to write, develop your topic sentence, your topic sentences to support the claim by 
repeating the claim, add the word because, and state a general fact in support of the claim. So start out writing your claim and then list the word because two times and develop topic sentence number one and topic sentence two. It is your lucky day. I developed three topic sentences because I had enough information to develop three topic sentences. However, you only need to develop two topic sentences. So when you're done, once you've developed your topic sentences on paper, then open the classroom page, open the claim topic sentences assignment, and type your claim topic sentences in the Google Doc. Turn in your assignment when you finish typing the claim topic sentences, close your computer, and read an independent book until you receive further directions.